everybody, this is Praxis, and the weather is really unsettled today. I'd love it if it was just more dry, hot, sunny weather. Uh, we had plenty of that over the summer, but now that I really need it, you know, we've had like rain, or a forecast of rain, every like three days or so, there's like some kind of a chance of rain. And today we actually got some. But that said, this morning uh, I got in and uh, River helped me uh, uh, bend up the flashing. There's a piece of flashing that runs uh, below the gable end over here. It's a 10 inch piece of uh, aluminum flashing that we bent uh, using just kind of like a little jig that we set up over here. So it goes down for four inches, five and a half over, and then a uh, half inch uh, little lift at the end. Uh, River help, wow, look at that. Look at the, I don't know if you can pick them up on the resolution of the camera, we're getting the leaves blowing all over the place. It's fall in New England, uh, which also again means unsettled weather. So I was able to get the flashing up and then that unlocked the ability to start doing boards across the front. As you can see, I got about a quarter of the way, maybe across the gable end. Uh, we were just sealing the boards. We had like a kind of a drying station over here. It was sunny this morning. Uh, we were sealing them. River was doing one coat of uh, the seal and then we let that sit for a bit and then I do the final coat. We throw them up there. Quarter of the way across there, we got a few more 12 foot boards on the back side here. One of the great things about the back wall is it, it takes a 12 foot board without any modifications at all. So whenever I, I come across a 12 foot long board in the pile, because it's kind of a mishmash of uh, 16s, 14s, 12s, 10s, 8s, and a few 6s. Whenever I get a 12, I just seal it and, you know, once it dries, throw it right up over there. This is what I was able to accomplish today, but, you know, as you can see, up in the sky, you know, we got kind of, you know, the threat of more rain coming in. Uh, there could be some thunderstorms coming through, and I can't really do the seal and leave things out to dry if it's going to get rained on. So, what I've been doing for the second part of the day is working up on the third floor, uh, doing the last of the big uh, wall boards up in that, like, that open shaft area. There's two, two walls on either side, and I'm, I'm finishing up the second one. I'm actually on the last board for that right now. And that, that'll actually be the last complicated board cut for the entire top floor, which will unlock our ability to seal the top floor. So. You know, I'd love it if I could be getting boards up today because my dad's here tomorrow and I would love it if we could work on this box soffit end, uh, which is kind of like the thing that supports the edge of the roof and everything. And to do that, I need to have the boards up uh, on at least half of the roof so we could do the, you know, one half of the roof soffit. I don't think that's gonna happen, but um, no, it's not gonna happen because <laughs> I'm not doing any boards anymore because I don't know about the weather. But, uh, you know, first thing tomorrow morning, uh, the next three days are supposed to be dry and, uh, you know, no rain. So uh, we'll be up there and uh, you know, getting up as many boards as I can, hopefully ahead of my dad getting here, and then the two of us can start finishing up this end of the roof. I think, you know, really three days I think we'll be done, maybe even two, on this whole side here. Take the decking down, get the decking over on the other side, and then start working on the other side over there. Things are moving, but you gotta wait for the rain. That's it. Thanks for watching.